The first communique issued by ECOWAS actually congratulated Makisa mm, for agreeing not to go for a third term. Yes, yes. Congratulated him and, and, and urged him to find ways of holding democratic elections later. What a statement! I mean, ECOWAS is becoming such an embarrassment to all of us. Was he entitled in the first place to go for a third term? He was not entitled to go for a third term. And ECOWAS leaders are congratulating him for doing something, you know, which is an injunction. I mean, the, the constitution insists that he shouldn't go for a third term. It's ECOWAS leaders. And look, this is their anti coup stance and so on. It doesn't make sense. Who established ECOWAS? ECOWAS was established by military leaders. Go back to 1975, see who were, 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 were in leadership in West Africa. Most of them, if not all of them, were military leaders. So the traditions of ECOWAS itself is founded on, 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 on coup d'etats. And, and, and now, even today, look around the region. There are so many leaders who came to power on the basis of coup d'etats and transisted to, to, to so-called democratic regimes as well. In any case, even this, this reference to some of these leaders as democratically elected is problematic. When they arrest opposition leaders and jail them, when they ban elections, when they rig elections, when they monetize elections as well, how do you call these elections free and fair democratic elections? ECOWAS is becoming a huge joke, you know, and, and the earlier these moribund neo-colonial leaders realize what they are doing to the continent, the better it will be for all of us. Look, three countries have opted out of ECOWAS. It's becoming increasingly clear that a lot more of the members will withdraw. It's becoming increasingly clear. What if there's a change in, in, in Senegal? Because all the things that are happening in Senegal are pointing to the possibility of violent change. You understand? Now, if that happens, what would be ECOWAS's position? What a shame. What kind of leaders have we bestowed on ourselves? I'm embarrassed by ECOWAS leaders. They speak at both sides of their mouth. You know, both sides of their mouth. They are unprincipled. They don't pursue the interests of their people and so on. Look at the level of unemployment in the sub-region. Look at the homelessness in the sub-region, the level of homelessness in the sub-region. And all they talk about is mobilizing their forces to restore, you know, discredited leaders like Bazou and so on. ECOWAS leaders. Shameful.